Hey, Jesse, it's Kyle. Um, I'm going to uh, do a quick recording about how to get started with um, Ubuntu and C and C++. Um, so, I'm running SX, but right now what I've got is a virtual machine of Ubuntu running, so it should be pretty much exactly the way that yours is. I've got version 13.4 um, of Ubuntu, which is the latest version, um, and I'm going to give you all the steps you basically need to get started, uh, including explaining to you kind of a little bit how the terminal works, and how you can file programs and shit like that. So to start with, um, uh, let me just show you the web page that I'm kind of working from. I'm working from uh, this WikiHow page, which is actually uh, really, really close to being uh, completely informative and like giving you all the steps. So I'll include this link in the uh, show notes for this little thing. Um, so uh, to get started, uh, the WikiHow page, it tells you to do some stuff um, with sudo apt-get. Um, and it kind of assumes that you have some working knowledge of the terminal. So let me just give you a little idea about how the terminal works in Ubuntu. Uh, in Ubuntu, this little uh, Ubuntu icon, this is the icon for the uh, Linux distro, it's kind of like the uh, the start bar um, from Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to launch the terminal, so I'm going to click this. And then uh, I'm going to type, um, right now by default it'll show me all kinds of applications. I'm going to go ahead and type uh, TER for terminal. And then I will launch the terminal. The terminal is an alternative interface for interacting with Ubuntu. Ubuntu has a graphic interface with the start bar and that thing and all of your regular icons that you are used to. Um, and then it also has this terminal, um, which is just a little bit different. Um, one thing, I'm going to show you some basics of navigating because um, the, uh, the, the little tutorial kind of assumes that you can navigate the terminal uh, relatively efficiently. So you've got um, ls, ls, which uh, lets you list the current directory. Um, it start out, you start off in the home directory. Um, so right now I'm in your home directory. You can see that I'm logged in as um, admin user, and then this is the computer name. And then this little tilde part shows me that I'm in the home directory. So it's the user at the computer name, and then a colon, and then the tilde, which represents the directory I'm currently in. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to get onto the desktop. Uh, so I'm going to use CD desktop. Um, and that will get me into the same place as if I would actually create a file here on the desktop. So to demonstrate that, let me go ahead and create a new folder here. Uh, I'm going to call this um, um, HWCCPP. So that stands for Hello World C and C++. So now if I ls, you can see I can actually see that same root folder. Um, and then there's a command that I that always missed in uh, tutorials called Nautilus, N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S. Nautilus will kind of like let you switch between the, um, the, the, the terminal and the graphic representation. So if I do Nautilus and then a space and then a dot, this group breaks up a folder that represents the directory that I'm currently in. So you can see that this is the same as, terminal, as being in the, in the uh, desktop here. Alright, so um, what I'm going to do actually in the terminal is I'm going to go into the Hello World CPP app, and now um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a file uh, with Touch, which is a way to create new files, and this is going to be my Hello World.c program. So I'm just going to call this Hello.c. Um, and uh, now I can again use the Nautilus and the dot. I'm using the up arrow to go back through my commands. So I use the Nautilus and the dot, and that will let me see the same folder and that same file in the graphic representation, um, which is super convenient um, unless you swap back and forth very easily. So switching back to that tutorial, um, what they want you to do is they want you to sudo app get install build essentials. So this is your um, this is your C compiler that um, you need to actually compile C programs. That compiler in um, Ubuntu is called GCC. Um, and um, it's a case that actually uh, you almost have everything you need. Uh, I already have GCC here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, run this command anyway because it will um, include some other stuff that may be helpful uh, later on for you. So sudo apt-get install build essentials. sudo apt-get install build. All right, and that's going to ask me for my admin password. Um, I happen to know the admin password for this is also is the same name as the um, as the user. Okay, so turns out there's no there's no S in essentials. All 
All right, and that's what I want, so I'm going to hit enter there. Okay. All right, we're almost there. Okay, so now we're done. Okay, so with that, I should be able to um, to compile file um, compile shit. Um, Ubuntu comes with an editor, I think, called gedit, which will let you edit this file. Um, I think I recommend it to you to use Sublime, because Sublime is kind of a superior editor. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to install that real quick. Um, you just want to go ahead, go to Google, Google Sublime, go to the downloads page, hit uh, Linux 32-bit, because um, more likely than not, you're using the 32-bit version of Linux. Um, I'm going to say, open this up when it's downloaded. And with a little bit of luck, um, this will download very quickly. Um, this gives me the Sublime Text 2 folder. Um, and then this gives me the Sublime Text 2 app. Um, where should I install this? Um, let's see. I don't actually work on Ubuntu most of the time, so I don't actually know what the best place, where the best place to put this is. What I'm going to probably do is... Um, go up a level. Um, hey, you know what? I'll just put it right in my home directory. So I just drug it right in here so it's in my home directory, and there's a blind text 2 in here. And then I think if I run this command, I should get, um, I should get the editor to come up. Yep, there we go. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So, um, this is my Sublime um, Sublime Editor, which is great because Sublime is a super sweet um, way to edit files. Um, what I want to do is I actually want to open up that folder. Uh, so I'm going to say open folder, and I'm going to open that 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 G that hook that Hello World folder I created on my desktop. So the desktop, select this folder, open this up, and then what I've got here is. Let me close some of these windows. I'm not going to do that anymore. Fine. All right. So now what I've got here is I've got a file list on the left, and I can click on a file and I can edit that file. So this this file hello.c is empty. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to copy some stuff uh, from here. Okay. So I'm just going to skip over some of this stuff here. This talks about using gedit, which is a great idea, um, but I'm not going to do that. So let me go ahead and grab this stuff, and I will paste that into here, and I have a tough time, this one's going to go, um, okay, now I've got this, now I've got this here, so what this is going to do is it's going to, um, do some extremely simple stuff with um, with C. Uh, this gives me a hello world using printf. Um, okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to run gcc and then the name of the file. Notice I'm still in the, in the right directory. I think that file is called hello. Okay, and then what this has done is this made an a.out file and now I should be able to say a.out and sure enough um, this program runs correctly. So that gives us um, the um, this gives us the uh, the ability to compile program. So what I did there right is I, I did GCC to compile excuse me, I did GCC to compile it and then um, by default uh, GCC will compile into an, an a.out file and then I ran it by just using a dot and a slash and then the name of the file a.out. Um, so let me just go ahead and modify this for one second so that it's a little bit so that I prove to you that I am master of the universe. And this goes by bidding. Right. I'm going to use new line characters on both sides of this, but I'll say hi, Jesse. And then I will compile over the old version, and I will run the new version, and turn off hi, Jesse. Boom. All right, cool. So that is my C version. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new version, and I'm going to call this my uh, C++ version. So I'll I'll rename this hello.cpp. 
specify right. And again, I am going to uh, copy um, the example that um, these guys suggest from that WikiHow thing. And I'll paste that into uh, I'll paste that into here. Alright, and this will say my first C program, so forth. So what you probably want to do is like put different programs in different languages and different folders and so forth, but we're just kind of uh, screwing around here. So here it's going to be hello.cpp instead of the other one. And what do we got here? We got an error because it doesn't know how to compile that because um, GCC is a C compiler. So now I'm going to go ahead and look and see what is uh, this actually wants to do. Okay. Um, if we try this command, maybe we should get um, to where we want to be. So let's try this. So it's going to be... Okay. We're going to use GCC and we're going to use two little modifier switches. Well, let's just show us try G++. Okay, so GCC is the is the uh, C compiler. G++ is the uh, C++ compiler. So now by using hello C++, now we get a a.out that represents the C++ program. There we go. That was what we wanted. So uh, GCC for C and G++ for C++. Uh, let me go ahead and make the same modification. So this is going to say rather than hello world, this is my whatever. I'll leave the C++ part in here. C++ uh, for Jesse. Um, and now I'll run it with it out. And sure enough, that worked. So um, with that, uh, you should be able to more or less uh, complete the Kearney and Ritchie, uh, the k and C book, as well as uh, any kind of basic uh, intro C++ book as well. So I would recommend kind of on your desktop here, you know, when, when I was first starting to learn to use the terminal and like programs and shit like that, basically um, go ahead and, and lean on the graphical user interface that you're used to as much as you can. That's why I told you to use uh, Sublime because it's super nice as this file list thing. Um, Go ahead and just like create a folder on your desktop for each of the things you want to, you know, for each lesson, if it's by chapter or whatever, and create a, a .c file for each of the little things, and then uh, compile them and run them and, and be pleased with yourself. Um, and just litter up your desktop with all of those, and, and don't forget about the Nautilus command to switch back and forth. Um, if you ever get screwed up in the terminal, um, you can use PWD to try to figure out where you are, but honestly, uh, just close it up, you know, no big deal, and then uh, fire up another one, and it'll be... Um, Pristine. It'll start. It'll start off always in the same place. So here I'm going to go. I'm going to start with another terminal, and I will. Uh, so it's already. It's always going to start off in my home directory. So no big deal. And then I'll just uh, CD into my desktop, and then the Hello World C++, C++ C++ stuff. And sure enough, there's all my shit there. So there's the Hello C, and there's the uh, Hello C++. And one last time, it's GCC Hello C. We'll compile that into a dot out, and then. G plus plus hello C plus plus that'll compile the C plus plus version and clearly there's only one eight out out file so the second time I compiled the G plus plus thing it's over in the other one all right so uh, with that that should pretty much get you to um, being able to compile programs um, you can edit them in Sublime and um, and compile them at the at the command line and just switch back and forth between those two. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, um, but that's a 15-minute little tutorial, and welcome to Ubuntu. Congratulations on getting it installed. It's no small feat.